Hi guys, how's it going? Football Manager, youthdevelopment.co.uk here. In this episode, we're going to take a look at five bargain players playing in La Liga. The first player that we are checking out today is Sergi Gomez, who's a central defender who plays for Celta. He's currently valued at about £3 million at the end of the first season. And as you can see in uh, La Liga, he managed to get an average rating of 7.38 over 15 games. He did have five of them coming on as a substitute. Um, yeah, his tackling attributes or sort of ratings are really, really high at 4.83 per game. Really, really high passing rating as well at 8, uh, sorry, 87%. Taking a look at some of his attributes, we can see that he's really strong player. He's got really good pace as well. For a 23-year-old, he's actually got really good mental attributes. He's got really good anticipation, quite good composure, really good determination, fantastic positioning. Um, he's also got good teamwork and pretty good vision. His kind of key sort of defensive attributes, tackling, marking and heading are all pretty decent as well. But we can see that he has got good passing attributes as well. So he could probably be used as a kind of ball playing um, centre back. And we can certainly see here that he does like to try uh, to play his way out of trouble. If we take a real quick look at his stats, we can see that he managed to win 97% um, of the headers that he went for as well, which is, of course is absolutely fantastic. And also he won 86% of the tackles that he went for. And yeah, 87% of the passes that he made um, were good passes. So very, very good player. If you can uh, try and get this player, I reckon he would be pretty good for a Premier League club. I was actually taking a look at... Um, players that might be interested in signing this player. I think at one point um, Newcastle were actually taking a look at this guy. So um, yeah, uh, looks to be a very, very good player. The next player that we are checking out is Ruben Duarte, who plays for Espanyol. He's a 20-year-old left-sided fullback. And yeah, really, really good player. So we can see here that his kind of main attributes are his mental attributes. He's got a driven personality, which is personally one of my favourite ones. He's got tackling of 14, pretty good bravery, really, really high determination, good positioning, a uh, fair bit of pace about him. Um, obviously, being only 20 years old at the moment, he still does have a little bit of um, sort of development and things like that that he could do. Um, considering most of the other players in La Liga are pretty expensive, this guy is not too bad a value at £7 million. Um, certainly, I reckon if you were quite a big club and you could maybe pick him up for sort of 12 or £14 million, I reckon that would be quite a good um, bargain you could have yourself um, there. So, yeah, certainly I reckon this guy is worth checking out. And he got managed to get seven man of the matches um, in 30 games in La Liga, which is really, really good, especially for a 20-year-old as well. So, yeah, really, really definitely worth checking out this guy. The next player that we are checking out is centre-back uh, Jonas Ramelo. So this guy plays for Atletico and pretty much I reckon he's going to be good for the type of um, team that Atletico are. So they're a team that likes to play the ball on the floor and things like that. So yeah, he's got quite good passing attributes, really good uh, teamwork, good work rate, quite good strength and things like that as well. So if we take a look at this guy's kind of key attributes, we can see that he played 27 times in La Liga, getting six assists, three man of the matches, and yeah, with a pass percentage rating of 81%, he got an average rating of 7.19 as well, which of course for, um, you know, playing in La Liga, that's a really, really good average rating. The guy is actually valued at £2.2 .2 million, which is obviously, you know, pretty cheap for La Liga or, or at least a good centre-back um, that can play um, pretty good for you. So if we have a look at the stats of this player, we can see here that he did actually make quite a number of passes, um, pretty high pass completion rate as well at 81%. 82% um, of the tackles that he went in for were um, won, and he also won 87% of the headers that he went in for as well. Um, really, really good young player. He's um, not exactly the tallest for a centre back at five foot eleven, but you know he's got really, really good strength and good positioning to kind of make up for that. One of the kind of things that he um, has got as a preferred move is likes to get forward whenever possible. And yeah, so that might be something that you might want to kind of get out of his game. But obviously, depending on how your team sets up and its tactics and things like that, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And um, yeah, he's the third player that we're taking a look at today. The next player that we are checking out is a little bit of a wild card, but he's only valued at 2.7 million. He's 24 years old, uh, Spanish um, yeah, nationality, and he plays for Espanyol. His name is Gerard Moreno. Um, we can see here that he is a striker. 
He's got finishing 16, first touch 16, pretty good at penalty taking, so he's uh, probably likely to get quite a few goals um, as your penalty taker. He's got good anticipation, decision making and determination. We can see here that he's got a resolute personality, which is always good as well. He's got really, really good off the, balls at, uh, off the ball at 17 and a good work rate at 16 as well. In 24 um, starts in La Liga, he managed to get 11 goals. 40% uh, of the shots that he took were on target, which is pretty good as well. I think if you kind of use this guy in the right way, then you could get quite a lot out of him as well. Um, he's not exactly the kind of most physical player, um, but potentially with his um, yeah, kind of good work rate and good teamwork, you might be able to kind of make him in, you know, if you use him in the right way, this player, you'll, you'll certainly get a lot out of him. Um, I think he's the type of player, especially with his finishing and off the ball, um, it's good that he's got the preferred moves or plays one too. You might be able to, if you've basically got quite a good um, attacking midfielder just playing behind him, um, with this guy playing um, sort of one twos and things like that, I reckon you'll probably get a lot of goals from him um, just using him as that. Maybe what you might want to do is um, maybe use him as like an advanced forward or something like that, especially with his high work rate and um, just to kind of use his work rate just to kind of upset the opposition's defense and things like that but certainly at 2.7 million um, and only 24 years old this guy's worth taking a look at the last player that we are checking out today is Nemanja Radoja he, he plays for Celta and is a 23 year old Serbian international we can see here that he's described as a tireless defensive midfielder um, which is probably one of my kind of best uh, media descriptions that I like to look for in players we can see that he's got preferred moves or plays short simple passes he doesn't exactly have fantastic vision, um, which is pretty good potentially that he's got the play short, simple passes. We can see here that in 33 appearances in La Liga for Celta, he managed to get five assists, three man of the matches, and got an average rating of 6.98, which is pretty good, I think. We can see here that his mental attributes are really, really good. Um, being a tireless defensive midfielder, we can see here that he's got fantastic work rate, good bravery, um, good anticipation, fantastic concentration as well, which is, which is of course needed to be a really good defensive midfielder. Um, he has actually got pretty decent passing attributes, um, pretty good tackling and good strength attributes as well. The good thing about this guy, if he did actually manage to increase his tackling and potentially his strength as well, then you know you would have a really really good. Um, defensive midfielder you could probably use him as like a ball winner midfielder as well if you did want to do that because he does have the good bravery attributes that might be something that you want to take a look at if we take a look at his stats we can see that 79% um, of the tackles that he went in for he managed to win and he managed to um, yeah 86% of his passes that he made were actually successful as well and um, he did actually make quite a number of key tackles as well which is which of course is really really good um, he covered a lot of distance as well um, throughout the whole season. So pretty consistent player. Um, his worst average rating was 6.7, um, which is not particularly too low considering. Um, so yeah, very, very consistent player. And if you were uh, sort of playing in the Premier League or, you know, that type of league, um, yeah, six foot one as well. So he, he probably fit in really, really well um, to any division that you were playing in. That's going to wrap up the end of this video, guys. Um, I hope you found this interesting. If you do like this video, and um, then do, of course, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll be back very, very soon for some more Football Manager videos. Thanks for watching.